It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about fractions in the real world. Here we have a teacher that runs each morning before school. Last week, he ran a total of five and three-fourths miles. This week, he ran four-fifths of the total number of miles he ran last week. We're asked, what is the total number of miles that the teacher ran last week and this week? And you're given four answer choices. So here's where you're going to pause the video, solve the problem, select your answer choice, and then come back and hit play to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So we know that last week he ran five and three fourths miles. This week he ran four fifths of the total miles he ran last week. And we are going to take last week and this week and combine them and then pick our answer choice. So understanding that the first week was five and three fourths, then four fifths of the five and three fourths. So let's make a plan. Last week, we know that he ran five and three fourths miles, and we're gonna add to that this week, which we don't know because it's four fifths of this. So let's go do some math. This week, he did four fifths of five and three fourths. If we rewrite that mathematically, it's gonna be four fifths times five and three fourths, which written as an improper fraction to multiply, four times five is 20, plus three is 23 fourths. So now that we've written our mixed number as an improper fraction, we can multiply. I'm going to simplify any common factors between the numerator and denominators before I multiply. Both the numerator and the denominator have a factor of four. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and anything times 1 is itself. So 1 times 23 is 23, and 5 times that 1 is 5. 23 fifths is in simplest form. So we know that he ran 23 fifths miles this week. So that is 4 fifths of 5 and 3 fourths. We could change it to a mixed number, but I'm going to leave it as an improper fraction. So let's come back over here and rewrite 5 and 3 fourths as an improper fraction. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. So 23 fourths add what he did this week, which is 23 fifths. Now to combine these two fractions, we need a common denominator. 4 and 5 as denominators don't have any factors in common. So we're going to multiply 4 times 5, and we're going to get 20. So when we do that, to get a common denominator, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator here by 5 to force a 20 for the denominator. Over here, whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So times 4 and times 4. 23 times 5 is 115, and 4 times 5 is 20. Now let's do the same thing here. 23 times 4 is 92, and 5 times 4 is 20. So now that we have that common denominator, we're going to keep that denominator and add our numerators. So 115 plus 92 is 207 over our common denominator of 20. Now we can see our answer choices are all in mixed numbers. 20 goes into 200 10 times with 7 left over. So 207 twentieths is the same value as 10 and 7 twentieths. So we know that combined both weeks, he ran 10 miles, 10 and 7 twentieths miles, which is answer choice B. That's fractions in our real world as we are running from one week to the other. Then I thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Have a great day.